Let's take a look at the intermolecular forces for NH3. This is ammonia. So the first thing we need to ask is, do we have ions present? Is there a positive or a negative charge after the NH3? And here, there are no ions present. So we can just forget about all of this right here. Do note that ammonia is a weak base. And if we do put this in water, some of the NH3 will dissociate to form NH4OH, ammonium hydroxide. That's what makes it a base. But here, let's just talk about NH3, and whether it has intermolecular forces. So we don't have ions, but is NH3 a polar molecule? That's our next question. We really need to look at the Lewis structure to figure that out. So here's our Lewis structure. We have the three hydrogen atoms, and then on top there is a lone pair of electrons. So when we look at the shape of the molecule, the molecular geometry for NH3, the lone pair here, that occupies space. That's going to push down the hydrogen atoms. We'll have what's called trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. That'll look like this. So you can see how this lone pair here, it's forced down the hydrogen atoms. And because of that, the nitrogen up here, which is more electronegative than the hydrogens, we end up with a negative up here and then kind of a positive charge down here. So this is a polar molecule. So are polar molecules present? Yes. And then the next question, are the hydrogen atoms bonded to fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen? We have our nitrogen right here. So we go over here and we have hydrogen bonding for NH3. We also have dipole and London dispersion forces. We have dipole-dipole because we have a polar molecule. And then all molecules exhibit the London dispersion forces. But the primary intermolecular force here for NH3, that's going to be the hydrogen bonding. And that's as a result of it being a polar molecule and having the hydrogens bonded to that central nitrogen there. So in answer to our question for NH3, we have hydrogen bonding. We also have dipole forces and London dispersion forces. This is Dr. B with the intermolecular forces for NH3, ammonia. Thanks for watching.